Hey guys, uh, like I mentioned before, I would like to use an existing uh, accurator for the MIT mini sheets. So this is what we have. I purchased a used one. So this one um, is the accurator. Uh, the board is STM32 board. So it uses the CAN, um, CAN bus. Uh, for the communication, this one is the power. So um, I will show you in this video. I will show you uh, how to test the torque. Uh, the voltage for this one is about uh, uh, thirty uh, voltage. Okay. So um, this one is the uh, brushless driver, brushless motor driver. Uh, because this one already have the uh, gearbox uh, integrated, so it's compiled together. Uh, in this video, um, I will show you how exactly I did some test for the uh, talk. Yeah, let's uh, uh, try. Here is some uh, 3D print uh, object. This one just uh, uh, secure the accurator. So you can see I have some um, or some hole. This is for for the uh, power and the canvas. This one just uh, uh, secure the um, accurator. Mm, we could uh, uh, secure this with the uh, uh, bunch vise. So this is just for the bunch vise to to knock the to knock the accurator. Yeah. So you can. This is another one. This is for the another part for the um, rotor part. Mm, yeah, let's just uh, secure the uh, connect to the um, rotor. Yeah, this four how just for the um, for the torque wrench. So this connected to this torque wrench. Uh, this one will connect to the torque wrench. So this this hole is for the torque wrench. So we could test the torque. I could print uh, them together, but I would like uh, have a separate one. Yeah. So we could connect this one to the motor yeah here is a 3d print this is for our router uh, here is all we need for this uh, test mm, we have a three uh, 3d print object yeah you may need to uh, adjust uh, the uh, print file a little bit based on your um, accurator. So this one just connect the uh, torque wrench. Yeah, you can see this for the uh, let's just uh, secure it with your um, with your branch vice. Okay. Let's just uh, secure secure the um, secure the the accurator so yeah 
I can show you how to get it attached. Okay. Now I need some score to screw to uh, secure this one in, in case it's f f it's fall down. Okay, let's uh, use the screwdriver to secure this one. It's pretty easy to get it work. Now let's get uh, this one secured. I think this is the M2 uh, screw. Yeah, this is a connector. I would uh, secure this one. Let's, we use this one to test the... We, we use this one to connect to the uh, torque wrench. I will put all this 3D print file to the uh, GitHub. So if you have the same uh, accurator, you could use the same uh, print file or you could adjust that a little bit. Now let's do some quicker uh, test. Just connect this one to the uh, torque wrench. Yeah, you can hear some tick. Yeah, you can try, make sure it's secured. And let's show you how to uh, use this uh, um, branch wise to secure this one. I purchased, uh, um, yeah, you can say it could secure this one, but I think the one, the, uh, the, uh, the branch Vice is too small, so I have to get rid of this two uh, item because it's uh, the the uh, branch vice is too small. Okay, let's get rid of this small item so I can get more space. Okay, you can say it still work, even if it's a little bit smaller. That looks very good. That's a perfect match right now. Yeah, next one I will do some uh, test, do some uh, torque test. First of all, we need a uh, software. This software, uh, uh, it's a USB can, so you could uh, send the command to the uh, accurator by the USB cable. Um, you can download the software uh, from here. You can find the uh, documentation over here and download the software over here. So um, I will uh, put the link to the description of this video. So you can download the software to send the command to the uh, device, to the accurator. So let me show you uh, what it looks like. Um, once you have this application running, you will pick up the COM port. So just click find, you will find the COM port. Uh, if you have multiple COM Mm, port you just uh, remove one of them you just unplug one of them and see which one it is so you can find uh, which one is for this device for the ac accurator yeah so the bolt rate just said uh, uh, just said uh, 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 two million I think that should work fine okay This can configuration, you just, uh, you could find the can configuration over here. Uh, like I mentioned, I need to put the uh, uh, link in this uh, uh, video. So, let's, uh, uh, you can find it's over, 
Let me see where I can find it. Okay, I can. Uh, I think this one. You can find、uh, over here. I will put the link to the subscription of this video, so you don't need to try to find that.、Um, this is pretty much the protocol of the、uh, of the MIT Mini Cheetahs. So here I have very detailed description. What exactly each byte would be? So it's one M, but I think two M still working. So let's set up.、Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean this uh, cam uh, bot rate is one million, but the、uh, cam port is two million. Okay. Let's just say let's say some command. I already set up of some com. Um, this is a, you can find more detail in the uh protocol documentation. There are three uh mode. The first one is the you need the internal uh motor mode, uh existing exist uh, uh motor mode, and、uh, there is a position sensor. So let's show you the first one, the inter um uh mode. The inter mode gets the uh accurator stuck on the fixed position. So in this video, I only demonstrate the first two, just the inter uh motor and access the motor mode. After you enter the motor、uh, mode, there are some、uh, command. This command is about like if you want the motor turn、uh, a specific a specify、uh, degree. So here is the command. Yeah, the first two、uh, byte, the first two byte is the、uh, uh, position. So it could uh, um, turn like a four round.、Uh, this one is about the.、Um, I think it. It's、uh, for some PID control. Yeah, it's a PID value. The last three, I think, is the KB. Yeah, for more detail, you probably could check the documentation, like、uh, each byte, what's the value for each byte.、Uh, in next video,、uh, I will show you how. We could uh, uh, turn the motor. Uh, yeah, uh, we will, I will show you how get one leg、uh, work. So we will have more detail for the description of this command. Next the、uh, uh, talk. Yeah, but the first two bytes are the、uh, angle, like how. Uh, How large we could turn, or what angle we could turn, and what the、uh, torque we need to use. So, yeah, there are more detail in the documentation. So. Could、uh, this this two byte could uh, uh, control the、uh, accelerator very precisely? Yep.、Yeah. Let's、uh, let's do some real test. So let's have the、uh, device connected, and let's this、uh, uh, FC. The last one is FC. So FC means、uh, enter the motor. The next one is the、uh, exit. Exit the、uh, motor mode. As a position, yeah, PID, everything as a torque. So 
let's get uh, once we exit the motor or once we enter the uh, motor motor you will see it's well stuck you cannot uh, turn it manually so let's enter the motor mode let's use the torque wrench let's try with the five uh, newton meter so you can see you cannot turn it as it will hear some tick so the five newton meter you cannot turn it let's try a uh, turn this is 10 newton me newton meter Let's try again. You can still hear tick. Okay. So it could hold 10 Newton meter. Let's try 15. Yeah, 15 and Newton meter. Yeah, it could also hold that. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. Let's try 20. The manufacturer documentation says this the max uh, uh, torque is uh, 20 uh, Newton meter. Let's try 20. You can hear something okay it's still work but uh, you can hear something like the mm, the motor cannot hold that uh, power okay yeah it's uh, it's difficult to hold the answer seems the accurate works very hard let's try uh nine let's try 90. Okay. Say it if could hold that. Yeah, nineteen did very well. It works very good. It could hold without any problem. Let's try twenty again. Now it's 20. You can say it cannot, you can hear it cannot hold. Okay, I would say the maximum uh, torque is 20. Yeah, it's 20 mm, Newton meter. But I would like not use the maximum. I also like just to keep like uh, um, 19 should be good enough okay that is all test for this one uh, this will be very helpful for the next video because next video I, we will uh, know what exactly we should send to the uh, accurator I already have one leg get working so uh, next video I will show you how to do that and what exactly I should send to the accurator and uh, show you the movement of one leg okay uh, thank you for your watching this video uh, see you in next video bye